This is head basketball coach Mark Moorfield of the University of Mary Harden Baylor reaming out his team in practice. He would be fired from his position, and thus, he ran to who else than this man on your screen. Obviously, it's an out-of-character moment that um, obviously does not define who I am or who I am as a father or husband or um, the type of coach I've been um, in 21 years of coaching college basketball. Now, let's pause here. According to a former player, this is exactly who he is. And it was not out of character. So there have been multiple players now who have weighed in after Moorfield was released. And also, when this video came about, yet an anonymous former player put out this statement going over his past regressions and how he made her feel. He made me hate myself as a person and as a basketball player. My mental health was at a point where I felt like I was drowning. This was the reality of it. I called my mom almost every single day after practicing games, crying because I didn't know how much more I could take hearing what Moorfield would say to not just me, but to others on the team. She would say this video surfacing is an anomaly because Moorfield would per her words, delete them because of his outbursts. The others that did not come to light, she says, were 10 times worse than this. Um, I let the emotions of the situation from previously get to me. Um, obviously, would have chose my words differently um, and probably would have probably tried to emotionally not let what had happened to a player on our team who just had a season in the injury because of a rebounding drill. Um, try to affect me. Let's pause once more. Moorfield is doing what many do in these situations, frame their wrongdoing as a one-off. However, yet another player would speak out, writing, quote, it's been a long time coming. This is the same dude who threatened us on multiple occasions to make us ineligible to transfer schools because we didn't want to accept his mistreatment. Hashtag king of gaslighting. As a believer... I, I can't imagine this is the approach you consistently took to coaching. No, there's no doubt. This is not uh, an everyday pattern or an everyday behavior. Uh, we did not coach in a fearful way or trying to intimidate uh, to our players. You know, as a matter of fact, what we really told our players were, you know, every day we want to, to come in and give 100%. Obviously used words that I would not use again. Um, and we don't use on a daily basis. You know, I apologized. Um, I was out of character and that they, you know, obviously using words that we don't use on a daily basis. Crew would add, I can genuinely say my time in regards to UMHB was the worst four months of my entire life. The whole environment took the fun out of basketball for me and several others. I hope the next coach respects the players, motivates, treats them with kindness, and has a positive outlook on the team. Whitlock would then frame a question as only Whitlock can. Coaching boys and the aggressiveness you can show when coaching boys or young men, do you temper that when you're coaching women? Is there an adjustment that a coach has to make mentally. Not a surprise considering Whitlock's attacks on women's sports and star athletes throughout his years becoming a right-wing talking head. Finally, Moorfield deserves this, Lily wrote once more. He's not only a liar, manipulator, narcissist, but the way he treats his players is absolutely horrible. Hence, why he has a whole football team full of freshmen every year, because they leave. And unfortunately, knowing this new grift and the audience he has, he then says this. In this environment, and we as Christians, we have no margin for error. Which is completely uncalled for. This is not what this video was about. This is not the reason for his termination. Whitlock just made it up to pretty much say, see, look, we're hurting, and it's wrong.